Hey, what's up guys? Guys, in today's video, you will learn how you can add sound effect into your org. You can add sound effect based on uh, multiple conditions like when a record is getting created or when you are updating it or when you are deleting it. Or you can add sound effect based on some conditions like when a record is getting created successfully so you can play success sound or when a record is getting failed due to some validation or some error so you can play error sound there. So guys, in today's example, we will be applying the sound effect on opportunity state change. So guys, let's start this video. I'm Kapil, your host, and you are watching Salesforce Bold. All right, guys. So for today's demo, uh, you just have to log into your uh, Trailhead account. Uh, there's a perfect trail for today's demo. The trail name is Add Sound Effect to Your Salesforce Org. I have already tried tried it and it's working absolutely fine. So let me just uh, show you how you can add sound effect. So guys, in today's demo, we'll be adding sound effect on opportunity state change. Once the stage is getting changed to close one, so we'll be playing a sound. So guys, in this trail, uh, the first step is to download the zip file. And in, in this zip file, we are having some sound effect. I have already downloaded it. Let me just show you. So this is the zip file. So here we are having multiple sounds. Let's let's check it out once. Let's check the human sound. Wow! All right, that was weird. No, I am not going to use it as notification. Let's check other sounds as well. Let's check out chat sounds and let's check out this one. Okay, this will this will work. Okay, guys. So, guys, there are some guidelines before uploading the file. The file size uh, should be 5 MB or less. The file type should be MP3 or WAV, and the duration should be 5 to 10 seconds, as it is going to be a notification sound. Okay, guys. So you have to download the file first, and after that, guys, you have to upload it as a static resource so let me just upload this one let me just move it to desktop first okay so i'm having the file on desktop and then guys you have to just upload the file directly you do not have to upload the zip file so i have created a new playground for this let me just open the static resource Okay guys, so I am creating a new file. The file name is mentioned in the trailhead. The file name should be sound1. Alright. Here it is. Let's select the file from the desktop. Here it is. Okay. Let's save it. Okay guys, so the first step is done. Let's try to verify the step. I have already tried it. I'm just uh, trying it once again in this demo. So this was the first step and I think we'll be getting 100 points for this. All right, guys. So in next step, guys, we have to add a package. So we have to install a package guys so to install a package uh, in your trailhead playground there will be a tab to install a package if you are not having the tab there so you can just use the package installation link or how to install a package guide from trailhead so in my trailhead i'm already having the install a package tab here so let me just click on it and we have to paste the id here and the package will be installed and guys you have to install the package for admins only as mentioned in 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 this trail okay let's wait until it sets open okay so i'll be installing it for admins only and meanwhile it is getting installed let's move to step three the step three will be guys to create a custom metadata record all right 
so guys for those who don't know what what is a metadata record so guys metadata is basically object which can be used for the configuration in the org so we'll be creating a custom metadata record let me just open the metadata from here okay guys so we'll be uh, editing this uh, already existing metadata so let's click on manage record and we are having some instruction here this should be the label of the metadata record okay we'll create new one here this is the label then drill chart setting name okay static source path our static resource name was sound one object name is opportunity and we are checking it on the stage field all right and the field value should be close one okay let's copy the name and paste it here okay guys so i'm saving this metadata record and meanwhile guys our package is also installed successfully let's click on done all right so this was the third step and the last step will be to add the component into our opportunity page so for the last step let me just create a new opportunity here let's move to sales console first here it is and as mentioned in this trail we will be creating a new opportunity then we will trying the uh, sound effect on on this okay let's create a new one what should be the opportunity name the opportunity name should be winning deal and stage should be prospecting okay so here's the opportunity name we can choose any closed it from here the stage should be prospecting all right let's save this okay guys now we have to add the component to this page so we'll just click on the setup icon and we will add it the page all right so you can see the app builder here so in app builder you have to search for the audio as you can see the trail shared audio player here we have to add the player into the page in which uh, we need the sound okay let's let's wait until it gets load completely okay the page is loaded successfully now let's add the audio player underneath that page okay it's in the place right now all right guys so this is our audio player let's save this and assign assign it as our default okay let's activate it so it is getting activated i'm assigning as our default now for desktop and phone both okay let's click on save save one more time let's click on back okay guys so our component is also ready so let me just reload the page once and then we will try to check the sound effect let okay okay guys so let's add this record and now we are going to change the stage to close one and once the stage is getting changed the sound should appear in background so let's try it once okay let's click on save and hope it works all right so guys it's working absolutely fine so this was the last last step in this uh, trailhead let me just verify this also okay guys so we are having a new batch into our profile now you know how you can add the sound effect in your salesforce org so guys uh, that's it for today and i hope you learned something new 
Hey guys, I hope you liked today's video. Please don't forget to click on the like and subscribe button below. Also guys, let me know if you are having any query in the comment section below guys. I'll try to revert back as soon as possible. I'll see you in the next one guys. Till then, bye. Jai Hind. Peace.